Jason is always uh, the one on the show who presents himself as an agnostic, meaning that he believes that there could be God, and then he also believes that there could not be God. That is true. The rest of us mm-hmm. on the show do believe in God in different forms and ways. and d- Mostly Jared. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I believe in God. I believe there's a God. In all four the more, of us. The, the more radical. I'm not radical, but the more strict. Well. Different religions. Yeah. yeah. yeah but you, you, you interpret, but you also see the outside. 100%. He's yes. stuck on the inside. Go ahead. <laughs> No, <laughs> the, re- the fact that I'm friends with you shows that I can see the outside. Uh, four of us, for the record, are Christian, and then Jason's agnostic. There you go. Yes. yes. So, uh, Jason, something happened to me um, and, and to my son. I had to take him to um, an allergist appointment to have what we're calling a penicillin challenge. Ooh. And I think that right before we went into the back to have the penicillin, p- penicillin challenge, I think that there was— And you were doing this— you might want to explain why are you doing a penicillin challenge? Yeah, it kind of so seems weird. There was divine intervention 100% that happened right before it. Okay. So, um, and that's why I wanted to tell you specifically. So the penicillin challenge, when Henry was born, um, he immediately like started having a lot of ear infections and uh, just was sick a lot. And so he was on a lot of different antibiotics. And so right away he had a a reaction, a really bad reaction to penicillin. And What, what happened? His face got huge his eyes mm. were Bre- very very small breathing was a little okay. bit labor that's, that's the scary part 100 yeah. percent. so um our pediatrician dr ron was like let's not do that again so let's just mm. put it on his chart that he had the allergic reaction and you know once those things go on your chart they typically stay for a very long yeah. time and the problem so, is with cillins mm-hmm. penicillin amoxicillin tetracycline oh uh, no. well Cillins, yeah, they can be related, and yeah. they could be re- re- are allergic to all of them. Yep, and so mm. we weren't one hundred percent sure which cillin it was, but it was <laughs> penicillin was listed mm-hmm. because that's what we had given him. So uh, go a few years down the road, Henry is six and a half now, and along the way, he's also had allergic reactions to something called ceftonir, which is the antibiotic oh that gosh. we can give him. Because he can't have penicillin. So he's running out of options They here. were running out of Ooh, options. That's scary. Yeah. So our pediatrician uh, referred us to an allergist, Dr. Gallagher, and he said, look, let we, let's challenge it because maybe it's not a true allergy. Maybe it's just he ha- it was like part of the virus that he was having because if he doesn't have antibiotics in his arsenal, God forbid anything happens to him in the future and he can't take anything. That would be terrible. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Or college so, with STDs. Go exactly. Ahead. Thank you for bringing up STDs with my son. <laughs> with her, uh, my young six, son. Six, yeah. seven-year-old son. He's yeah. going to be been pimping one day. So. <laughs> yeah. Who is pure and holy and beautiful. Yeah. You that's mentioned what, STDs. That's what agnostics do. <laughs> <laughs> right. I was thinking more along the lines of some sort of disease, disease right. or some sort of strep throat. You know, he like he, you need these. Some uh, illness yeah. That, uh, yeah, that could be helpful with the antibiotics. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Think how often you get sick and they're like, here's a Z-pack, whatever it is, you know? So um, anyway, we go in to do this penicillin challenge and I was really stressed because I know that the last time I gave him penicillin, it wasn't good. Mm -hmm. So we're actively going into, which is the best place to be, to to have him monitored, but I'm like, what could happen? Yeah, what's the reaction Mm -hmm. going to be? Do they have emergency people on standby, though, if they're breathing? Okay. Uh, Yeah, 100%. So as we're in the waiting room, I'm like, I'm tr- really trying to just play it off as not a big deal, Henry. You know, he has his book bag. We packed a lunch because we didn't know how long we were going to be there. He has his headphones and his iPad. You know, he's like along for the ride. He doesn't know. Right. I'm not going to be like, your face could blow up and you could have trouble breathing in five minutes. <laughs> right. You know, like, you know, I don't want to say that, but it's in my mind. Yeah. And so sitting and I'm just waiting. And all of a sudden, who walks into the waiting room? I really hope that I'm not violating any sort of HIPAA law. I just realized that. <laughs> oh, boy. But our priest. Really? Yep. Wow. Never seen him out in public before in my life. Ever. Wow, that's I wild. I mean, you know, we yeah. see him every single week. We you see just him, never we, see him out. We're just never out about, you know? It's, well, it's, I guess yeah. priests do go to doctors. <laughs> 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 and I said, there it is. Wow. I yeah. felt at peace. I thought, this is a sign. A tender wow. mercy. Total yes. sign, right? And we I had a guess. great conversation. He, I mean, I, you know, he, I didn't tell him I was nervous or anything, but he just kind of put me at ease a little bit and was, t- you know, like filling me. It was just jovial and getting to know each other, you know, outside did he of. Know, did he recognize you or did yeah. you have to say? Well, I mean, I, I introduced my, you know, because it's, you know, when you see people outside of your norm. They look different. Like, where do I? Yeah. He's, like, yeah. Do I, he's not wearing the priest thing. Right. Where do <laughs> I know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Where's your yeah. I mean, I'm assuming he's not. No, he yeah. wasn't. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was his day off. Right. Um. So I, I don't know. It just was like this 
very calming moment for me where I thought, it's going to be okay. So was And it, it was. Did yeah. he have an allergic reaction nope. to the penicillin? Oh, he good. did not. Good, so it's really good, good news. We did, nice. The way they do the penicillin challenge is interesting because I didn't know if it was going to be a shot. I wasn't sure. They gave him, we started with, um, I believe it was point one or maybe one, one a very small no amount. Drum. You take it and then you monitor for 15 minutes. Nothing happened. We were looking for, you know, your face swelling, the breathing, the scratchy, itchy, whatever, hives, none of it. Then they give you, I think it was like the equivalent, I think it was like half a teaspoon, <clears throat> excuse me, maybe, and then you monitor for for half an hour, or for 15 minutes, nothing. Yeah. Then they come in with the big dog, and that mm-hmm. is no longer a syringe, it's a cup of nine milliliters of penicillin, mm. and I mean, I figured if something was going to happen, that would be it. Because then after the big one, you have to monitor for uh, an hour. And after like 30 minutes, the allergist, Dr. Gallagher came in and he was like, if you're okay, I'm okay. He's good. And Mm so we could take it off his So so I I basically got a lot of comfort because of your religion. Yeah. The priest walked in. Mm -hmm. That's the sign that things are going to be okay. You know, it's not always the sign. I mean, no. a priest could walk well, on you your plane that. and it could crash. But I think that there's a level of comfort, comfort. there. Like, well, and it's specific to you. Yes. Like you were very stressed out. Yeah. And then of mm. all places, of for all the person, places and, and times, the yep. likelihood of you seeing your priest there is probably less than one tenth of one percent. Yes. hundred percent. Right. And I get that. And that's the problem with a lot of religious people. <laughs> I knew. A lot of, yeah. gonna take no, it. Hold on. I, I, I'm happy for you that that happened. Thanks. I am because yeah. it gave you a level of comfort. Mm-hmm. And I know it can be very stressful when it comes to your kids at the yeah. doctor's office. Uh, but at the same time, I think religious people do that a lot because there's going to be rare things that happen a lot. Things naturally will just happen whenever we decide to point it out. And then what do we do? We blame it on an intervention. I'm uh, an intervention. A divine. A divine intervention. Intervention. Mm-hmm. So okay. that's where I have the problem sometimes. Like when I had my son had his ears, uh, had tubes in his mm-hmm. ears. Mm-hmm. Everything was fine. And the most anxiety that I got was all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the doctor says a prayer. I'm like, the doctor says a prayer before the surgery. What? What's? Yeah. Why did you get anxiety? Because I'm like. My gosh, we're praying to God that nothing's going to be going wrong. I wasn't even thinking that way. I can understand that. Do you see what I'm saying? All of a sudden, no, pointed I can't out the it. instance. Thank you, Squid. Well, I mean, from an outside perspective, it's like you're not confident that you have to say a prayer yes. before you do this. No, it exactly. should just be like oh, routine. No, I, I don't say think it's, it's not yeah. I mean, no, I, I do, but yeah. I'm trying to put myself in Jason's shoes. Thank okay. you. And so I can understand. You would not be able to put it in his shoes. They're way too small. <laughs> yeah, too tiny. It hurt your toes. Toe. They are women's <laughs> shoes. <Yeah>. But for <laughs> you, yeah. that gives you a level of comfort. Sure. I don't think it's like, please help me remember how to do this surgery. It's mm-hmm. just asking for as yeah. a normal thing for people that are somewhat religious. It's just. Almost acknowledging God and his extra, what an extra set of hands in uh-huh. there. Is there, uh-huh. because there's a lot of times when we pray, or I see people pray, and then the worst happens. So is, is it well, really making I, a difference? Just because you're praying doesn't mean you get the outcome that you want. Because if you did, everyone would pray, including agnostics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, atheists. of course. Mm-hmm. If, if you say, oh, I really like a million dollars. Boom, Boom it's on your desk. It it's not mm-hmm. a genie service. Uh-uh. No, but what's yeah. the point of the pr- prayer before the, the, the surgery? I or? think the comfort. I think it's a comfort. I think it's uh Did your did your priest uh pray? No, a little prayer? He didn't. But I you know, I guarantee you that if maybe I would have asked him yeah, he to, have. he would have, but I didn't. I just it was like his just his presence gave me this calming. I, you know, I like it was that. like, oh and that's mm-hmm. what that's where I'm jealous of religious people. Mm-hmm. Not that I consider you over religious like Jared, but that's where yeah. I, I pray because <laughs> spiritual it's is not a how competition. I, yeah, We're it's all not. just different. Yeah. 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 I, I feel like because a lot of people that are religious, I think it's helped Jared get through his dad's um passing. Yep. Yeah. 100%. I think it's helped you get through. You have a comfort level that mm-hmm. I'll never get to have, you at can. least at this point. We'll send a priest and, a, and an elder over from my sure. church. Mm-hmm. We can combine them. Yeah. And whatever Matt does in Squid's survival wilderness camp <laughs> stuff. He does. Yeah, yeah. 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 All that yeah. together. Yeah. yeah. Although, Although I, we had a great team. I do feel mm-hmm. better, though, uh-huh. when I do go with my wife to church. I do feel better. Sure. But yeah. I think it's because of the presentation. That's why. It is the message is what it's you're feeling great God about. You're yeah. feeling. Yeah. 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 I, got, however, I got a lunch, by the, oh, by the way, in uh, six days. Did you set it oh. up? You did. I did set it you up. You did. I, forgot. Yeah. Just, I didn't oh, think you were going to do it. I was very non-responsive, mm-hmm. and he was responsive. <laughs> yeah. so I'm like, oh boy, I don't want God to be like you're not responding to one of my childs or whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> children, <laughs> children. One of my childs. My word. So Jason was texting all of us, or at least me, and and yes. accidentally my daughter asking for uh, <laughs> recommendations for 
quote unquote Christian restaurants. Uh huh. Because Salsaritas is holy. Because it goes, <laughs> they, well, there's Mexican restaurants, there's Chinese <laughs> there's restaurants, there's Italian. So there's got to be, like, we're like, mm, not well, Jared, that. Jared did say Chick fil A. I'm like, that's it? That'd be, I mean, <laughs> if you had to p- force one into that. If you had well, to. Well, the cookout yeah. sometimes has uh, Bible verses on their cups. You ever notice that? Yes, I yeah. have noticed. Yeah. Yeah. Too? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And I've noticed in Zaxby's they play gospel music. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Does I've it have to that. be yeah. all fast food restaurants to go? <laughs> <laughs> Burger King, no chance. <laughs> and I'm thinking about... I'm trying, <laughs> they play Satan. I, I, <laughs> I don't know if I should have a lookout or something. What do you mean? Like you want us to come to lunch like and just sit lookout? at another table? Well, what's the... I want to sit at another table. Like, oh, yeah. I want to sit at another table. He thinks he's going to be like surprise baptized or something. Yeah. Are they going to all of a sudden people are going to come out and grab me and throw me in the van and take me in. I don't the, know. It, it wouldn't be a, yeah, it could be a church van. It could so, be. Yeah. Or a church bus. You Christians are definitely yeah. notorious for that. For you. Yeah. Well, thanks. Yeah, I'm glad that gives you comfort. It gives comfort. And I think that you <laughs> you find comfort and inspiration. Maybe maybe comfort's not the word you would use, but you find inspiration in the message. And I think that's the whole point. Like, you don't have to be, you know, on your knees praying to God and, and living by the Bible verses verbatim. Mm-hmm. But I think you go because it makes you feel better. And that's it, the it whole point. It does make me feel yeah. better, but I blame that. See, I blame that on the presenter at the time or whatever. The, the word. It's not blame. You it's attribute. Give credit. You attribute. Or give credit. credit. Yes. Okay, I give credit uh-huh. yeah. on the pastor mm-hmm. that created that. Mm-hmm. Not, and not everybody. But, but it's yeah. the message. I mean, he's good at the message is what you're telling us. Mm-hmm. But if his message mm-hmm. was garbage, Oh, right, I don't care right. how good it is. You're gonna be like, Pfft. yeah. But he's. I also think every t- religion's message. Well, sorry. The presentation a, 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 a here probably a lot of Christian messages are definitely you know the Posit. right thing. Mm-hmm. There should be at least. I yeah. also will say I can find the same comfort in different ways. Like if I go into nature or I see, That's true. Uh, you know, like that. Well, my, he, my heart rate gets too high. Nature from is definitely <laughs> a place where I feel I, sure. a, so a, a connection. And, and some would say because. God made nature mm-hmm. for some of that purpose. That's yep. exactly what this pastor said. Yep. He said that a lot of people will find their, their different ways, and mm-hmm. one of them was what Katie just said was nature. They yeah. feel more mm-hmm. connected. Or it's like almost like a path to to. It's like the it's yeah, the direct yourself. connection. And everybody, and, ha- I thought you know, mm-hmm. I thought it would be food, but nature. Did that you. too? It could be food. I mean, it could where you actually feel like you're having a religious experience when you're tasting something. You're like, right. What? But nature, can't even believe one. it. But nature and music, music, well, music speaks to me. me. Yep, mm-hmm. reading or a great conversation with somebody yeah. that yeah. you just connect and you think, how have we mm-hmm. never connected this way? But mm-hmm. you do. So I see it everywhere. It's not just the fact that the priest walked but in, it, but for me that day it was. And you know, people say, "Oh, just because you go to church doesn't mean you're a good person or religious." And that's also true. Yeah. But sometimes the arguments like, "I don't need to go." I feel like I need to go because I need that weekly inspiration, mm-hmm. uh, refocus, and recharge. Yeah. That I can't really get that that same level by myself. That's mm-hmm. a good point there. Mm-hmm. That, you know, I could totally see. Doesn't that. mean mm-hmm. if you don't go, you miss that you're a bad person. But like. When I do miss, I definitely feel different going into that week. Like I, I, I need that extra outside being around people that, you know, and these positive messages on a weekly basis. It really mm-hmm. helps me. Mm-hmm. And you know, it also makes me nervous lately about the thing that happened to you with the priest and your son coming what? in. Uh, I just feel, and this is this is not going to go, be very popular, thought to a lot of people. It's okay. But mm-hmm. I just keep seeing the people that are spreading the message, mm-hmm. including. I don't want to get too deep into it, but including the uh, the John Robbins guy, that you you lead this life mm-hmm. of really you're looking for to help others. You you know it's about God, it's about Jesus. You, you're living the best life you can, and then the biggest tragedies I've ever seen ever happen to those people. It it seems to be more than other people, almost more than bad people. Cancer, health mm-hmm. problems. Mm-hmm. It's that's the scary part. I'm like, it didn't do anything for you. And if that's God in there, look at what he's doing. And then then there'll be a murderer or all these other people, the general public, that that seems to not happen to as much. Mm -hmm. It's weird to me. Yeah, Yeah. I see what you're saying for sure. Right. And, and, And I think... You know, all there's things that are we know that this process of life we're going to die, and it's mm-hmm. going to, and so we all die in different ways. And I, I think they would call that fundamental attribution error. You see, it happen to one, you think that happens to everybody, mm-hmm. but also it could be a reason why they are more religious because I think maybe somebody shared somebody had cancer and then they became a priest because they overcame it and or a preacher. Yeah, they, sure. They, they felt like it really re- like oh wow, this life is precious, and it led them towards that. 
But yeah, you're not immune to it because, because mm-hmm. again, if you, just because you go to church, all of a sudden nothing bad happens to you. Everybody be at church every yeah, Sunday. Yeah, yeah, that's not why we it's go. It's part so. of the testing mm-hmm. process, yeah. and and that yeah, becomes man. part of their testimony. And then because they're going through cancer and they're getting treatments, they're around other cancer patients who they have the opportunity now to minister to and mm-hmm. possibly lead to become closer to God. So they were yeah. put in that situation because they could handle it. And they were there to potentially help witness to other people who needed it more. And when Jason, did Matt get all righteous? <laughs> he's a preacher. He's a preacher. Uh, he's a hello. Online, yeah. online preacher. He's a brother. 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 Brother Matt. Right. And like the story of Jesus himself, he right. went through like every possible like negative experience a person can go through in life uh-huh. from betrayal, from poverty, from physical pain. And that's that's why you can relate because. Right, mm-hmm. he, you, Jesus went through it, and so that's why. Literally, the only yeah. perfect man to live mm-hmm. and could can mm-hmm. could do whatever he wanted. He can stop somebody from doing, and he gave up his life. He could have stopped them because mm-hmm. he's all powerful, and he chose not to. Um, and, and you think that, that he's the Son of God? Welcome to your ultimate. Sunday well, morning and it's program. Not, well, <laughs> I was gonna say it's also, <laughs> but, but you know, it's, it's like it's a story of Jesus. I also am like so fascinated in the in buddha and learning about different you know i think that all of the religions as a whole it is about positivity yes. and it is about being wow. as good as you can be isis is not the best not well, the listen best. I, but mm-hmm. that's like a radical side like of a, yeah, a religion of it, yeah. that a lot of people practice to be good people right that's you true. know mm-hmm. it's a radical thing that has perverted the entire religion and that's not but fair there has nope. been almost more deaths related to religion well, and killing yes. than any other thing in the entire world. Also, I think of a thing that has ruined people's view on religion. It's not, I I, I don't know. And Jason, I've said this to you before. One of my friend Blair and I were talking one time and she was like, you know, I just think that Jesus is like the ultimate hippie. And I loved that thought because I was like, it makes him a real person. It also mm-hmm. makes him like, we're just trying to do good. You know, it's mm-hmm. like, the, like the hippie idea, the mentality, love, the love, everyone. and yeah. you know, do good. But, but I think you can find that in every, you, I think you do find that in every religion. It's, mm-hmm. it's yeah, like the yeah. few bad apples that, that make it, that, that well, pervert it or make yeah. it whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's the devil getting through. Maybe. Well, some would say if, and I don't, I don't think you're saying because re- that religious people are killing a lot of people. A lot of people have been killed because of their belief system. Mm-hmm. Right. Especially the Jews, and, and there's been other right. people oh, that are the people that are killing can also be very radically religious. They could. That's mm-hmm. also true. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, but these are imperfect people. And if they went by what the the good book says or their religion says, there would be no crime. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There'd be no crime. That's what, that's, that's what I like about it. If because, you, if you yeah. actually lived it, if we all could, and we're all imperfect, live it, we'd all be a lot happier. Yeah, we wouldn't. There would be zero problems, mm-hmm. but we can't. That's the part of the problem. Is the only good news is that I just realized that no matter what I do and how, no matter what I get into and every sin that I commit, Jesus forgives me. <laughs> so I'm good. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's a process to it. I'm glad that's, that's what you took away. <laughs> he's, already, he's already paid for him, but there's still a process yeah. of mm-hmm. you know repenting. That's but, where yeah. the agnostic in me comes out, Jason. Because I'm like. Mm, wouldn't test it. <laughs> uh, I don't like that theory. Uh, don't push it too hard. Yeah. <laughs> you like die on a coke bender with a prostitute. You're like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> took it too far. Sorry about that. Uh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> you got me? No, you don't. Okay. Oh, you hey, don't? Hey, Shoot. All right. I, I hope you're right. I hope it's like, I'm here and you open the do- door. It's like a doot. <laughs> it's a big nightclub. It's like, I knew it. Man. You know what that sounds like? It sounds like hell to me. <laughs> <laughs> Eternal nightclub. Uh, oh, me too. Yeah. Like your ending nightclub. To never go to sleep. Yeah. Just have to party. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. All right. Oh. Well, Katie, we're glad yeah. your son is okay. Thanks. Absolutely. And yeah. A, she was telling us about he had all these uh, resistance to antibiotics, and now learning that. He's uh he's not actually allergic to one, which yeah. is a big deal. We can tentatively take it off uh penicillin off the list. That's good. 